All right. Um, again, dice roll. So again, as you've mentioned, a prank it's, is a deck that, like looking at this list, does he have the capability to play through those interruptions that Tribe Brigade can can set? Uh, definitely, he plays a lot of um, what do you call it, like toolbox cards. He plays the triple tactic talents as well as extra defense. But uh, triple pandemonium. He's playing instant fusion as well to extend. He's playing double prank it pranks, which is uh, one copy more than usual. But he's also playing part of desires more cards and he mains a lot of hand traps and not a big trap package so he uh, definitely can go the mile to either stop his opponent from playing uh, but it's all very dependent on how the hands are and how the match will go so i'm excited uh, i don't know who won the diary likewise no i wasn't able to see it i think i saw johannes having like a small hand gesture not sure if it was like okay you can start or it looks like Callum is going yeah first. yes okay the normal summon lamps is so uh, for people who don't like know how prank it's work what's like the standard ending board or what what's their goal all right so there are four prank kits. there's uh, lampsies the fire drops the water the fences fire the wind and roxy the earth and they all do something when they are used as a link material or fusion material and when they do, they have uh, something like Lampsies burns for 500, Fancy's uh, Foolish Burials, uh, Spell or Trap, Dropsies gains 1000, Proxies draws a card. And then they summon another Ranked, and you can only use that effect once per turn. So the entire setup works around using uh, summoning one name, summoning all the others to the meaning of Link Summoning, like for example, going to the Link 1, he summoned the Fancy's now, uh, with Fancy's he's gonna Foolish Burial the Pranks, and he's gonna summon out another monster. The Link 2 that he summons is Prank it's a do doodle. doodle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Um, names are very difficult. And on summon, he can add a prank it spell from his deck to his hand. So he will use that to search the fusion spell card. And he also has a second effect that he can tribute itself, link to, to add back two prank it cards. And this strategy all works towards their uh, end boss monster called. Battle Butter. I wasn't sure if it was called Buster, but that's the ABC card. But Battle Butter, which is a fusion that you can make with Nemsis, Fancies, and Dropsies. So not Roxies. And Butler has a very interesting effect. You can tribute him to destroy all monsters of your opponent's field. Uh, which is already quite st strong, but you do lose your monster. But with the new Link 1 that came out a couple of months ago, uh, this deck can first of all start playing easily, and the Link 1 can also banish itself instead of the tribute as a cost. So you can break Eiki two times. And how many monsters uh, did Tribegate need to win exactly? Two? Okay, so uh, he's in a very favorable spot right now, getting all the cards out, searching more cards, getting them back. No responses from Johannes so far. Right, that's the thing now, is that I remember when um, uh, Prankets were like released uh, in the TCG, uh, you know, quite, well, I was about to say like a standard fusion deck, but that, that wasn't really the case. It, it was really vulnerable. I mean, you had your multiple two slash three card combos, but the fact that recently, some time ago, they got their uh, rank one, Meow Meow, I believe is it the name is. Phantom Rage? Hmm. It has been a while. I think it's actually Phantom Rage, and not even like more than five sets ago. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm relatively new, but ever since it's been a force to be reckoned with exactly what the right. deck needed. Right, it's, it, it makes all of those two, three card combos basically yeah. one card that, that it, you could get started. Yeah. Uh, so very powerful. Again, so, still playing. Exactly, he's gonna make the, uh, that's the Bow Wow Bark. Uh, Bow Wow Bark is the same as Doodle Doo, he doesn't search and summon. Uh, but he can tribute itself in the opponent's turn to add two Prankets cards back from their graveyard to their hand. So that will add any of the missing names for the fusion monster that's on the screen right now, the Battle Butler. And he also has the fusion spell already, he also has the Pranks. Uh, now if you wonder what Pranks does when it's on the field, you can shuffle back three Prankets cards to draw a card in the end phase. And for the strategy, I mean, I, I always like um, uh, see Prankets as, as Burning Abyss very similar and, and giving, let's say, well, Burning Abyss, but here in this case, Prank, it's uh, a pot of Everest-like cards. It's fantastic. It exactly. resets your engine back to the deck, sets your Prank, it's back into the deck, you know, to be special summoned in the next turn yeah. as a potential follow-up play. So again, very strong, very strong. You're drawing cards. Always yeah, nice. always good. Who doesn't like to draw cards? 
He's just shuffling his head now. He does have the entire setup with the Lampsies on board, the fusion spell set, the bow of arc to add back the dropsies and the fence and the fancies that is. And one additional set card. Um looking at this deck list can be like either impermanence or called by or a desire she doesn't want to use, maybe. Mm -hmm. So how many interruptions does he have or how, through how many interruptions Johannes needs to play? Uh, at this point, two are Yankees, right. which is uh, a lot. That's a lot. Double butler, yeah. Exactly. And do note that once he fusion summons for butler, all the monsters that he fusion summons with summon other monsters as well. So even if the butler gets removed from the field, because you can only banish to link one once for its effect, and then you have to trip it himself for cost, uh, he still has follow-up. This deck is easy and uh, very strong in killing you, especially since Johannes is already losing 500 life. Right. Yeah, we we haven't seen any form. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, was, well, what I was about to say, we haven't seen any form of interruption from Johannes, so absolutely no hand traps, but that's a bell, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Ah, oh, again the call by. Again. Wow. Um, the one-off, the one-off, so as, as you mentioned, the one-off call by. In the words of the famous Raphael Nevin, that card needs to be on the Forbidden Limitedness. It's an iffy card. It's it's such a powerful because it's it's so versatile. Like That's going so first, it lets you go through like quite safely. Okay, there are some hand traps you can't negate. Imper Nibiru depends. You know? um, and if your opponent does not have, have any form of interruption, you can just set it and interrupt your opponent during their turn. Exactly. So Callum is uh, able to get his entire setup out of just uh, you know the one normal summon. Uh, yeah, the prank. It's as you can see, it might seem super insane right now, like being one of uh, just one card, everything. Uh, but there are a lot of cards that struggles to deal with. Of course, they normal summon once, then summon one from deck. So if you ash that, it's getting close to a pass turn without extending. Mm -hmm. And also, Bell is just insane, uh, like Johannes was planning to do. So unfortunately for him, called by the Rescue Cat. Now, that's a very juicy Battle Butler card. Right there. Should you go for Butler? Probably, right? You can't He's give you. Uh... Anyway, right? If he if he waits for the kit, then he can yeah. uh, regeki on the kit. But when he, once he does, he gets the effect of the kit. Right. Gets the Plus, he does have a couple of hand, uh, well, I was about to say hand traps in hand, but you know, a couple of cards in hand again, which could be hand traps, more forms of interruption. So maybe we could see the rescue get, probably not. Yeah, but there is a fusion play. Um, you do have to think about all your options, right? What's gonna happen? Exactly. But uh, since he added back the two, he's gonna use the third on the field, and there is the fusion that we talked about earlier, the battle butler. Um, such a such a powerful deck right now. He will get three summons, gain life, foolish burial one, burn life, and mix all his monsters mm -hmm. gain attack through the field spell. That's the thing. It, it again kind of reminds me of Madolce as well. As soon as the deck gets rolling it, with with like its setup and its combos, it, it, it's so hard to stop. Okay, it's, it, it could be quite weak, uh, let's say, going first or on a normal summon. One interruption could stop you in your tracks. But as soon as you get rolling, it's it's again so hard to stop because the pluses rack up. And uh, right here we see Johannes reading cards, and uh, you know what that means. Well, I, I mean, you could like double check. That's so you awesome. might be familiar with like the the cards, like I am. Like I'm familiar with the cards, but you know some details, um, maybe uh, like like uh, like a forced activation or something like that. Exactly. So again, just making sure, I guess, to. Yeah, if you don't know what Prank It does, this is easily one of the top four decks of the format. Uh, I put it myself in tier one, definitely. This deck is huge coming back with just but one link, one monster. And as you can see, it's putting in its worth. Like next turn, Johannes doesn't even stand a chance if he didn't get to the next turn. And yeah, if you want to learn how to play the deck or if you want to learn how to beat the deck, I have a very cool guide up on my channel in my How to Beat series where I talk about how to beat other decks. And yeah, if you don't know what Prankits does, you definitely have to read these cards and understand them because you're going to see this for a little while. So now he's able to use uh, the butler on field, you know, banishing uh, Meow Meow, I think, right, from the graveyard. Exactly. So, cost. Yeah, correct. So this now, or this, this way, you can write Geki, uh, your opponent's board, so destroying all monsters, and at the same time, keep butler on the field. Ooh! Ooh. All of the deck cards in Johannes' deck, he does play Triple Ooh. Forbidden Droplet. 
distributing a monster, so there's no responding right. to this. Right. This is strong. Really strong. Very interesting that the Meow Meow, uh, that is the name of the Link one, can banish for cost, but that leaves the butler wide open for an activated effect. Well, as again, he can't chain, right, exactly. with the butler, so... This duel went from, like, lost to very solid yeah. for your honest right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at this extra deck. There is an opportunity that he can play a Zeus package with the Rescue Cat, but uh, there is no Zeus in Johannes' extra deck. So we're gonna, he's gonna have to play through it with just the power of the Trigger Gates. So Prank it's still having two cards? Double three kits? cards? Can okay. Do double kits? Isn't Rescue Cats? Am I mistaken here? That they need to be uh, different, names. different names. Ah, I'm not sure. Uh, no, no. I, I, back in the old school days, you could go for like, uh, let's say, double air balloon and synchro okay. cats. If, if I'm not mistaken, has been like from like in 2009, I think, years ago. Or Panther. Yeah, you could go for like double air balloon. So that, yes, that should, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it should be possible. Okay. Can just, sure. yeah, just making sure. Um, we see. Um, Very just coming down. More extending. So this went from like, back and forth so much. I, I thought that column with the call by mm -hmm. just has it, and now we are back with uh, Johannes being the active player and the player that's going to continue playing for a little while. What I like about Johannes is he's uh, always playing really fast. Like remember his at uh, least watching his live feature matches. Um, back at Ghent, for example, he was playing like really fast, really um, like he, like a tell that he knows his deck in and out. He knows how to play it. He knows how to play through hand traps. He knows how to counter things, play through your opponent's boards. If they have a hand trap, he can immediately recover. So that's something I definitely like about him. Fractal is going to banish for you. Do have to banish that battle butler because once it is destroyed by battle or card effects, he floats into another prank it. Right. Uh, but that doesn't have to be a prank it. Um, like a normal monster. It can also be one of the fusions or the links. So it's very important to remove that card with a card effect that uh, doesn't destroy. So the link four hitting the boards, and as you mentioned. He's gonna look up the battle butler, uh, yeah. I think. So Johannes is using the Neuron app. Yeah, just look up prank yeah, it's, it's, it's you easy. See all the prank it's it's perfect. I love it yeah. so much. And uh, as well now because he has for Rigid and the Fractal and the Shurik already, there's no need for Johannes to rely on the revolt. He can just summon the Rugal to sure with the so called the Ferrigid and the Fractal. Um, then make a link three, the Rugal summoned back in the opponent's turn. But he does have to out all the monsters right now. And there is an effect of the Bow Wow Bark that I have to look up real quick. Yeah, if I remember correctly, is it like when you tag out, or I, I believe it's tribute itself, I believe your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, is it something it's like that? either battle or card effect. I know that the Weather Washer, the off ah, yeah. also has one of the effects. Yeah. So that's something that I forgot to mention, but in my defense, Bow Wow Bark has like three effects. So Maybe we can put one of the cards on screen. Yeah, I'm getting a right. So again, Johannes thinking his options. Uh, any potential other threats he needs to keep track of? Like, okay, maybe he can plow yeah, through four, the board, but... There are four cards in Callum's hand, which can still be hand traps. And, and other than that, let's see if he's able to break the boards. Um, the right, yeah. Um, target two prank gets cards with different names in your graveyard, except Link Monsters. Add them to your hand. Also, prank gets monsters to control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects okay. this turn. All okay. right, so he does choose to go for the Bear Brum. I guess that the, the value of the search of the Shurik and the value of the search of the Revolt is just insane. And Rescue Cat's being added. The thing with Rescue Cat is, I remember when Tri Brigade was released, um, and, and people were, you know, using Tri Brigade because, again, so powerful, they weren't uh, main decking the Rescue Cat, like uh, maybe something like Zodiacs, but eventually people started to realize that it was such a fantastic one card combo starter. I mean, it, it sets off everything for the deck, even though it's it's weak to, to hand traps and it takes up your normal sun, right? Yeah, but Gamma. Of course. If you yep. activate Rescue Cats, it gets ashed. And you can yep. activate the Gamma yep. and make an Omega, rip a card from your opponent's hand. And the searched Rescue Cat will just be discarded by Kira. So he's going to be able to get the maximum value out of all his cards this turn. Johannes' hand was really, really good. 
He is playing Nibiru though, so Kalem. Kalem is playing Nibiru. He, there is Drone Unlock. Um... Kalem can just wait until the very last moment. Mm -hmm. Nibiru. But he does have to hurry up a little bit because there could be an Apollosa coming down. Also, something to note uh, that I often um, have happened to myself uh, is the arrows of all the tri brigades uh, pointed like very different directions. Uh, like the ferret points left down and the Biram points left right down and left. Right. So he does have to play with those arrows a little bit in order not to lock himself because it's really easy to lock yourself with this deck. Now, does Kalem have the interruption or not? So again, very strong having the ancient uh, warrior link on the field. Okay, battle phase, so no interruption. But if there was anything Kalem could have done back in the Biru, it should have been now. Is he playing Gamma? Gamma in the main deck? Prank it's no Gamma. No gamma. Side deck maybe? Side. No. The funny, funny thing to say is uh, that we can say at this point, both players are playing Ellie of just the Psycho Warrior, which is not going to be helpful uh, from this point on, because there right. is no Drytron. Or Eldritch in the other uh, Right. Yeah, Eldritch also kind of vanished from the format, right? You remember that deck? <laughs> mm. And yeah, at the start of Johannes' main phase, he can use his player priority to uh, make the first action, so there's no chance for any Nibiru to come down, so the Nibiru is too late at this point. And Joanna's gonna draw a card and add a revolt. How strong is Appaloosa against Prankits? Because, you know, you have the capability to, like, chain block or prevent Appaloosa, you know? Yeah, with the field spell, it's gonna be significantly difficult because you can uh, summon a Prankit, um, then link it away, then you can activate the Prankit effect, mm -hmm. but then the field spell activates. When you link summon a monster, your opponent's monsters lose 500 attack, and when you fusion summon, they gain your monsters gain 500. Ah, okay, attack. right. Okay. So he can chain block the first two times, uh, but uh, yeah, with uh, a banish with the revolts and the ancients uh, and the ancient warrior double dragon lords, uh, it's gonna be a pickup of cards. Right. So yep. Insane. Uh, I didn't think this would happen. It's. I. I, I think uh, Kalem, um Especially after that first turn, he, and he, sh he, sh he should be. He, he felt really confident, and I would would be the same. Like double interruption, uh, double butler for you know the Raigeki break break the board, plus uh, the call by. Um, but Johannes, I guess had the the perfect cards, the perfect yeah. card to to prevent you know from. Kevin was just like sitting back in his chair, like yeah. oh I, I played everything out, uh, and there was no interrupt, no nothing. I can just uh, keep going. And he just passed turn and he had called by. He must have been like, oh, this was an easy, right. easy top uh, four. And then, uh... Okay, so let's take a look at the side decks. Yes. Um, let's uh, take a look at Prankets first. So uh, he should again probably be going first. Right, yes. So which cards which we like see? The judgments can come in. The, there can be only one city siding are not amazing versus Tribe Kid because the deck can, like Fractal's a Beast Warrior, Kit is a Beast, Cross is a Beast, and uh, Nerval's Winged Beast. And Fairy Jit is something else again, and then another. I think that Shrek is also a winged beast. And so the there could be only one doesn't really stop the deck as much. Maybe together with the Battle Butler, maybe. But, uh, for the Solemn Judgments, will definitely go in. Maybe even the Lancias because he's going first. You can draw it in the end phase with pranks, which mm -hmm. uh, must be nice. And for right. Johannes, um, draw Knockbird is mm, okay it I could guess. be yeah. uh, if you activate field spell and then draw knockbird and there's going to be no fusion spell coming uh imperial order in the side deck choosing not to main it but, uh, it's not gonna help him because he's going second uh triple lightning storm triple twin twisters twin twister is very very good for sprankets mm -hmm. because the fusion spell is a quick play but it can only be used in the main phase right. so in the standby phase you can just pop those right off the field and proceed to win the duel from there all right, it reminds me of the the rank up spells, uh, rank up spells for um, what's it called, uh, Phantom Knights. Basically, had so, so. yeah, it was the same strategy a couple of uh, formats ago, where you know you could like as a dot your opponents during their turn with a rank up yeah. spell card for PK Phantom Knights. Uh, but again, with the weakness of your opponents having the, the capability to act during their draw phase or standby phase. So yeah, let's take a look. Kalen probably should go first. Again, with their new Link One having the capability to go for those easy fusion plays. Before the beginning, it was much more difficult to go for your fusion summoning or fusion summons. 
to get the ball rolling. I remember um, Instant Fusion, right? Instant Fusion is also powerful in Prankets uh, yeah, because it's, yeah, it basically yeah. searches their... Uh, what's the, the rockets? The rockets, the rockets right? Summon two monsters back. Yeah. Carpet we haven't seen so far. Yeah. Maybe that will make an appearance this All right, so Caleb going first. That's the uh, desires. That's uh, not something you want to start. Mm, that's uh, an iffy play, right? Because again, banishing ten cards, okay, it's 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 a big cost for the deck. Um, even though, I mean, if you look at the list, uh, a lot of the pranked cards, the important ones are mostly at three. So, I mean, banishing all three copies of, I don't know, dropsies, for example, the chances aren't that big. Ooh. Ah, ah, that's you good. Look into the hands. Look into the hands, right? Uh, so talents on Ash. Okay, so uh, that's Revolt, Kit, Skull, no, Bell, and uh, pros is that Prosperity? Yeah. Prosperity, yeah. yeah. So um, the Bell is going to be leaving the hand. So this, uh, now that we kind of know mm. the hands, this looks like uh, if if Callum can play it. Yeah, if the Bell gets shuffled back, then it means that he can definitely start playing and that's why talents is such a powerful it, it's it's a i feel it's like a high risk high reward card it's a card that could like just be dead the entire duel um your opponent like either playing around it or not having the hand trap for example or it could be a game winner a game winner like this well the game is not over but i mean getting information about your opponent's hand is always yeah, he can always do whatever good. he wants now and he knows there's only a kit to be dealt with So again, can he make the, the same end boards? We see again yes, the link yes, one. Yes. one. One monster is yeah. just the end board, just the battle buffer. So again, uh, maybe we will even see the rocket right coming in. Let's get that card up on the screen. Plus, um, Johannes doesn't have a starter card. No, there is revolt. There the is kit. Ah, uh, normal summon kit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 So Johannes is one unknown, and then he can prosperity for to six to try to break through this board. Are you a fan of Prosperity? Let's say over... This, well, it depends, of course, on the deck, but... I oh. am... Uh, I am not. You're asking the wrong person about this <laughs> card. I really don't like the card. I think I, I can understand why it's good, but I don't... Like, in a deck, for example, like Tri-Brigade, I would like to have all the extra cards as an option, and Virtual World as well. Uh, maybe in a deck like Subterrors, you can play it to dig for your hidden city a little bit more. But even then, I would rather play triple extravagance, triple okay. uh, Pot of Desires, instead. or Pot of uh, Duality instead. Right, yeah, it does lock you in the draw, but I mean, un unlike, let's say, extravagance, uh, uh, Pot of Extravagance is that you get to pick which extra deck cards you, uh, yeah. you get out of your extra deck. So I guess that's the advantage. Plus, it digs to well, more cards, I guess. So anyway, strong start. Yeah, it's again from Frank. Frank to uh, discard one and get a token. Interesting. He doesn't really want to rely on the fusion summoning too much. Overlooking his options. Yeah, I, I don't really get the sign of planes, but place, but I trust that Callum is uh, knowing what he is doing. Of course. I mean, I, I kind of have the same feeling as uh, the Madolche, as Alex, I think, as the Madolche yeah. player. It's, I think. Um, not sure if, if people know Kalen, uh, pro probably right from locals. I, it's th those players are all like like myself, always playing like almost the same deck. Yeah, I'm looking at myself, I'm playing like the same deck for like years. You're feeling so comfortable with the deck. Um, Tribute someone else. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Activate storm. Stormfort. Uh... <laughs> Set Stormfort. <laughs> that's cool. but, but that's the thing, right? You're even though it might not be. The, the best option, the best deck for the tournament, the fact that you're feeling so comfortable with the deck, you know the deck in and out, um, how to play through hand traps. In Callum's defense, um, out of prank hits and tri brigade, which deck has won a YCS before? That's true. That's true. I remember uh, was it, that was Dinka Bui, right? Exactly. Dinka Bui. Ooh. Playing the deck uh, when it was just released. Yeah. Uh, YCS in, Milan. In, uh, his entire deck was in foreign languages. So uh, no one knew what the deck did, and they also couldn't read the cards. And uh, it's a well-known deck to uh, 
work in time as well because of the burn damage and the game life right. damage. So uh, right. they could be being an excellent player, knowing exactly what he was doing. Uh, but even without the link one, proving that that has skill and it works. Yeah, who knows? I mean, let's say if Kalem gets this one, we have both Maldolce, or at least we would have both Maldolce and Brankets in a top four. Do they have to play against each other? No, 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 no. No. If Madolce and Prankits are in the final, uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be insane. Something right. that we definitely would not have expected right before this. Um, not stop deck to call by the grave, which is huge. It's gonna start off with the prosperity. Prosperity. Probably digging for six. Yeah, we he's can assume another card, which is nice, but Callum knows exactly what he's gonna add. So it, the surprise factor will be hindered severely. So how many uh, potential, uh, again, the same disruptions, double butler again, in case of uh, Prankets? He's, he's gonna banish six. Let's take a look what he's gonna banish. He has a couple of options. Um, firefighting, the Rumadol is not really gonna help him much. Uh, Cypher Lord, Omega. I'm not sure if he's gonna banish Almirage, since he might need that later, but definitely one of two Bear Brums or one of two Fairy or one of three Shrek is playing. Right. You see Foolish, uh, Karas. Karas is a nice add. Tanky's also nice, but he's not playing Zoo. So he, this, this isn't... Uh, he's, he revealed five Tribe Gate cards. Maybe. Could we see just uh, the Tanky or Fractal? Something like that, yeah. It will not be a Tribe Gate match if we haven't seen Tanky. Of course. <laughs> Tanky is indeed going to hit the boards. Not sure how many uh, cards Kalem has uh, in his hands. There's, I think, four after he added them back. Right. So again, the same combo. We see Kit being sent to the graveyard. Uh, Naval, I believe the name is as well. Again, getting the stretch. More Gammas. It's again, Kalem knowing the hand because of that very early triple tactical talents. Yeah, still one unknown, the hand. Right. And the draw. But, uh, yeah, good for Johannes to just go on the tanky. Okay, so again, very similar as we've seen uh, in the previous duel. We see the fusion hitting the board, or at least it will hit the board, Butler. Alright, so he, Johannes added the, added the carrots. There's one unknown. Could it be another tribe gate? Mm -hmm. And if it is, does it really matter? Because he has to to destroy your opponent's field. Mm -hmm. Also fun to be said, this, this duel would have been over at any point uh, if he had banished triple drops, his fancies were lamps. Right, yeah. So Butler again hitting the field, basically one of, I, I guess, Brankets as boss monsters now. Yeah, um, I remember. Are they playing the the rank uh, four as well? I believe that has the capability to like Harpy's Feather Duster. That's here. the link for. Yeah. That's yeah, the link yeah, for. He's also playing. Right, right. Yeah. You have one for the back row and you have one for the monster. Yeah. They also have a trap card that lets you link someone in your opponent's turn. That's currently uh, not in Callum's deck list. Even though it's it's searchable, also, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it could be a tech, giving at least giving you the capability to play during your opponent's turn. A macro deck. Yeah, you can go for it. right, right. Sept errors or something like that. Altergeist. Altergeist. We haven't seen those. So prank it's hitting the boards, setting up for next turn again. Um, Butler should be activated on kits. Like, what are Johannes' options? Okay, he still has one unknown card. What we know, Revolt is there. Has to be another droplet. Other than that, anything else? Probably not. All right, so um, Callum banished a couple of Prankit's names. So he is uh, unable to summon all of the Prankit's, but th that doesn't matter because you don't have to summon the user effects. Okay, so Meow Meow is indeed getting banished by the butler. Droplet's not coming at this time. Yeah, no droplet this time. Okay, so Kellen has two cards in hand. One of them is Revolt, one of them is Grass. Johannes, right? Yeah. Yeah. For Johannes, I mean, he can still set Revolt. Okay, Grass hits the board, so okay. It was a new Yeah. 
to that prosperity definitely did not do what we want. Okay, so yeah, that's something we definitely expected. Again, Butler tributing itself, Rekeke the board, and Revolt is now set. Right, so this duel is far from over. Right. We only summoned two Crank Kids monsters, so Kalem's gonna have to do uh, some effort to get back in the game after his monster left, and there's a Revolt. So yeah, I don't think he has many options to uh, summon from the deck anymore. Here is where the early desires kind of gets in, right? I mean, the two draws definitely, you know, could have helped out, but the fact that you, you lost so many of your, your engine cards and for a deck like Prankets, you, you don't want that. You definitely don't want that. So, Revolt is there. Like, like what's the, the most opportune moment to, to drop the Revolt? Like, on, on which card? On the link? No, I think you're gonna wait at this point. Maybe you can... No, because he shuffled back one of the Doodle moves. So I think that the best thing to do right now is just to wait until your opponent does something that kills you. And until that point, there's no use of uh, doing that early. Because if you, like if you, for example, do it now on the Link 2, then uh, yes, he doesn't, cannot tribute it for the add back, but he can just make another Link 2. Right, right. But still, I mean, Johannes, okay, he's sitting at a kind of comfortable 7k life points. Does Prankets have the ability to, like, OTK immediately? Only two access code yeah. talker, realistically. Searching a fusion spell, right? That's a fusion spell, right? Yeah, yeah it has been a while I lost it, I played Prankets. Okay. So Johannes is still on this. Again, he still has Revolt for the potential interruption. Does he have enough targets? No, Could we see a potential bell? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, nice matter. and easy. Wow. Okay. I mean, the talents. Talents was important, right? Yeah. Um, and, and even though I, I feel that. That, that early desires could have maybe lost him if it wasn't for Bell. Uh, because again, he lost a lot of his engine cards, but but Bell is there, that's the reason why and it's he was there. still summoning from his deck, so yeah. maybe he still had options, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. he knows exactly what he's doing. All right, so I think we can assume Johannes is indeed going first. Um, so, uh, any side deck cards, options he could and, go and for? spell is huge prank hits. Um, they have the fusion spell, the pranks, the field spell. Uh, a lot of desires, talents, and there's only one quick play in the entire deck. Um, twin Twisters might also come down, just stop Field Spell or Pranks or Set in the end phase. Order will definitely come in again, Spell Deck. Um, Turcadon, Harpy's Feather Duster can come in. Gamma Shell, he plays the double Kaiju, also can come in. Maybe the Lanceas, but I'm not a big fan of citing Lancea versus Tr Mm -hmm. Not that much, yeah. He's already main decking the Ash Blossom, Nibiru as well, if he draws, goes by bells, obviously. Uh, 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 um, yeah. Who you see winning this one? I feel like Johannes is still in a good position. I think that he could have won this game as well, but the uh, bell yeah. was just very insane. And, uh, yeah, I think that he's in a favorable position. It's all dependent on Kalim's hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And both duelists having a laugh. Exactly, you have a good time. That's the thing, right? I remember playing in the Remote Duel Invitational some time ago, and it's like, it's it's stressy. I mean, you're, you're, uh, you're like looking at the computer screen, you're playing with your cards again in real life. But there are so many factors you have to keep track of. And when you're finally talking to the player, you're like, oh, wow, nice to meet you. And because exactly. again, it has, has been like, so long that you actually played like an in real life duel but uh yeah imagine this is uh like 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 it could be more stress because again top eight but there's uh, have you seen a trophy that's a nice oh trophy. yeah 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 i saw it being posted on was it twitter on the konami yeah. or, or facebook facebook or facebook or twitter one of them and uh like like there were multiple how you say it like multiple layers multiple yeah, yeah it's From crazy blocks, it has the, yeah, uh, yeah. The, uh, dual link dragon the dual dragon the price card right. right. the winner will also well, 
of course, get the ultra rare copy of it, which is insane. Right. And I also saw that the, the prices of them, uh, was it a PS5? Yeah, they're PS5 getting first uh, place. There's a lot at stake. Right. Right. Okay. So still side taking. Again, Johannes is definitely the player that should go first. You definitely want to set up your cards. Again, you don't want, <laughs> as in last turn or last duel, kill him having the potential tactical talents. Get a peek at your opponent's hand or yeah. potentially two draws. It'll be interesting to see what's gonna happen. It's a Yu Gi Oh! Everything can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, it's just time to duel. Johan is saying he is gonna go first. So, again, you're potentially thriving towards, I guess, the same ending words with Tri Brigade, like looking yes, at Appaloosa. Appaloosa. Yeah. Appaloosa, the ancient warrior link, a link to. The ancient warrior link and. Uh... What's it called? It's strangely enough the same deck, uh, where Prank is, has the, uh, uh, you know, the one normal summon that gets interrupted. But right. If they fusion summon, you are uh, a yeah. whole f further from home. So we saw one of the one of the other top sixteen players. He was main decking uh, in Tri Brigade, a little more ancient uh, warrior. warrior. Yeah, like uh, only two, the the bouncer and the extender. Not fam too familiar with the names. Like, what's your opinion? Uh, do you like those in the main deck? There are options to play, uh, but I personally think that the deck is kind of soft right now. I think that the zoo version is just superior with the zoos. Okay. A lot of decks are still unprepared to deal with the zoos. Yeah, so I think it's cool. Um, the deck is just like far from perfect, right? We're still very early in the format. Right. Um, but Tribe Gate seems so refined already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, Simply because it's so straightforward. Exactly. Everything at three, it's hand traps. Empty. Yeah, Fractal, Send Kit, yep. your ball. Like exactly what's happening right now. As Get we've seen before. Down. It's all so funny when like you, you make a play and your Ooh. opponent picks up their cards. Lencia. Lencia. What can I... Ah, uh, it's, it's only fair. Again. It's only fair. <laughs> you run see on me, I call uh, by you. You call by me, wow. I call by you. Wow, called by the great... You, you would think that call by... Like, like, watching at these like feature matches, you would think call by the great is at three. Oh, yeah. But it's not. No, no, call by You've the great. more than orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is again crucial because, like, what would have been a, like? Let's say the call by wasn't there. How can he recover from Valencia? Not. Yeah. He has to have caress, but that's super difficult to work with. Okay. Yeah, you can get your searches, I guess. But again, having the extending play, yeah. Mm -hmm. So get this there. Valencia is stopped. Any other options? Galen could have in his hands. A quick look. Nibiru, but I feel like that's not gonna, gonna happen. Has Ash still, maybe for the beer rum? He has a kit on the face. He did use the kits though, so. So this is again a powerful Ooh, extending play, right? Using, using the effects. Effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So discard any two, right? You can discard any two cards. Yes. To, uh, is it reborn from the banished pile or yes. graveyard and banished pile? Um, so again, Johannes working with the link arrows of the driver game. Uh, he's gonna focus on the double dragon orbs. And it's Nibiru now or never. Huge play, right? Again, this is the Appaloosa play, so no Nibiru. Kind of safe for the hand traps, even though we do see impermanence for Prankets. He is indeed main decking it, so Imperm would still, you know, be there or come from the top. Here is the end field. Appaloosa, double dragon orbs, revolt. This is everything Johannes wanted yeah. from his deck, and it's giving it to him in the top eight. Well, will it be enough to proceed to go to the top four and take on one of the other new lists? That's the thing with um, uh, Tri Brigade is that you're probably, like, if you're going your full combo, probably ending on maybe only one card in hand, maybe maybe, maybe even zero, because you're using the effect of uh, your Brum, you know, the yeah. extending effect. But the fact is that you have Appaloosa. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Ooh, do you agree with the play here, waiting with Nibiru, or forcing out an Appaloosa? Uh, he should have used it on the end, but he was too late. Was he able to use it with the summons? Right? Yeah, he yeah. was able to do it on the double Dragon Lord summon, definitely. Then uh, there would have only been a revolt to deal with. 
which was significantly easier than this. So uh, that's so unfortunate for Callum. I feel like he kind of gave it to be honest. Now. They might well. You might have a, an interview. You know, could give us more infusion, more information. It's also that's... a card that's a one. So, uh, Instant fusion without a graveyard will not help Callum. Uh, let's see, does he play any other targets? No, he doesn't. With Weather Washer. Now, if you ask, what does Weather Washer do? In the opponent's turn, it contributes itself to special summon two of your graveyard blankets. So, we are not in the opponent's turn, and there are no blanket cards in the graveyard. And so, instant fusion destroys the enemies. So the reason for instant fusion might be he needs uh, another pranked name or another attribute or yeah, it's just an extender. Yeah. yeah. So that's not that strong of a play, right? No, it's just trying to mental game, I think. Kind of weakness. Well, it's showing weakness. I guess uh, Johannes double checking, verifying the effect of the fusion, but it's. I think Johannes uh, has the same question as we do. Yeah. Double dragon lords. He should Three be. Cards. This should uh, be met with a uh, revolt. I feel like. Or maybe he's keeping the uh, revolt. Ah, I mean, yeah, you should go for it, right? For a potential link one play. Full Appalooza is still there for three negates. Exactly, but he doesn't uh, want to block his own Appalooza. Uh -huh. This can only be met with a quick play spell card. But it's not. Do you see any outs for Kalem here with Prankets? It was fusion spell or bust, it feels like. Maybe he take a look at the side deck. No, there's no droplets, there's no chalice. Plus we know Nibiru is in hand of the three cards. Three cards? Three, oh, yeah, four. That's also true. One, two, three, I guess three cards left. <laughs> so full Appalooza still there, the ancient uh a link is also still there, so we see the fusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the ancient fusion indeed was used, so that's and again... Now the, the, the rocket right will just get banished. And then the fancies activates in a new chain link. So Appalooza... Can just negate it. Yeah, indeed. What he should have done was chain the, the pandemonium. So then Rocket Red was summoned and Fancy activates as chaining one because he's turned player. Shireko activates as chaining two. So then you cannot uh, negate the prank it in the graveyard. But now right. he's able to do it because he was a little bit late with, uh, yeah, unfortunately for him, both his Nibiru and the Pandemonium. So now there's only a Nibiru in the hands. You can kindly ask Johannes if he wants to summon five times in your turn. I don't think <laughs> it's going to be happening. So using the Ancient link bouncing back it's like bouncing uh, sending one card from your field to the grave and bouncing back one card right he's gonna let it resolve mm -hmm. why would you want to let it resolve he might have his reasoning for that so foolishing all well, the spells yeah for the fences right balusa has two counters left right and now he's gone Oh, it doesn't really matter what's gonna happen now. Because if he, even if he has the second Pandemonium, the last card is a Nibiru. Yeah, sending the tanky to the graveyard, so again bouncing back. The prank gets on field. Could this yeah picking up the cards. <laughs> Unfortunately, the underdog deck is being kicked out, so that leaves Matolche. Uh and again, again we see the the the, the powerful power <laughs> from Call by the Grave. Exactly. Call by the Grave. So yeah. Congratulations uh, to Johannes for taking it down. Okay, let's uh, get back to us. 